All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So this is a video that is out of the norm for me, but I wanted to do it. It's been a while coming. Uh, revolvers. Uh, I am not a big revolver guy. I have never really been a big revolver guy yet. I have a couple in my collection. And uh, I want to just <laughs> real quickly uh, talk to you about that. Uh, but before we do this, look at that guy right there. This is my Beretta M9. And the only reason I actually got this guy right here was because... I used to carry one as my sidearm, and man, I love this thing. What a great little firearm. I know a lot of people hate those or cannot stand them. Wicked. I know you're out there, but you know, for nostalgic reasons, I wanted one, and I found this thing used, picked it up. It was a decent deal, uh, but at the end of the day, I probably could have bought it brand new for about $25 more than what I bought it for used, but I don't care. So anyway, let's get on back to the revolver thing. And I guess another reason I wanted to talk about this, if you remember Lethal Weapon and uh, Mel Gibson's over, pow, 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 and then and what's his name's over going, pow, 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 pow. Okay, so let's talk about real quickly before we go into the box situation. Before we start, uh, one of the guys left me a message in a comment talking about the different Colts and the barrels and things like that. I have been trying to find that thing because uh, I wanted to reference that in this video, but I couldn't. All right, so what do we got here as far as revolvers? Uh, this guy right here I've carried quite a bit. This is the uh, Smith & Wesson 642 uh, and 38 Special. This is aluminum frame, and yeah, it is a plus P firearm. Got five rounds, and uh, I tell you what. This is not a, a bad little pistol to carry. Hammerless. Uh, it does have the laser. And, uh, but uh, in any case, I carried this quite a bit. But it's uh, this thing is as light as it is. Hold on one second. Uh, it comes in at, at 15.4 ounces. Uh, you shoot some 38 plus P in this thing, and your your little hands are going to be uh, having a lot of fun. Look at that damn bug. Okay, so what uh, what other revolvers do we have? Uh, I, I inherited the rest of these from my father. God bless him. Uh, <laughs> he handed me this one. This is an Armenius Titan Tiger, and I decided one night after sitting in an apartment. Uh, while I was out of town that me and some flat dark earth paint were going to have some fun. And this thing is made out of like pot metal. But I will tell you this right now. As far as triggers go, that is one of the best triggers that I have on any firearm, believe it or not. Let's see what that is. Well, four pounds, two and six ounces. That, that, that seemed heavy. Do that again. Come on. Yeah, three pounds, four point nine. What's this air weight coming in at? Oh, never mind. It's a double action. <laughs> well, you could do it, but uh, I don't know that it would actually. It might be too heavy to go in there. Nine pounds, eight point zero ounces. Nine pounds. All right. Well, anyway, yada yada yada. Getting back to this thing. Uh, we got an old uh, replica Colt Navy. Uh, it's got the scroll, the uh, lines on the cylinder. This thing, I think we fired it once when I was growing up. It is a muzzle uh, loader kind of deal right there. Ball and musket kind of yada, yada, yada. Uh, trigger pull, not bad. This is a fun gun, though. Boom! But I will tell you what. As far as fun guns, this Uberti Cattleman. This is in 45 long Colt. And this firearm right here is absolutely awesome and it's one of those ones i will always cherish and i will always have fun with but you want to talk about that's got a nice tr trigger on it let's see what it goes for i'm just giving you guys a walk down memory lane here real quickly because yeah a one pound 7.6 ounces wow but when you shoot this you know it 45 long coat all day long okay so what do we got here the Colt box. Uh, I was uh, one of my local gun stores and I absolutely love the guys down there at Point Blank Range. If you ever go in there, ask for Daniel. He is uh, awesome and he hooks me up with all the cool deals. This was brought in uh, and it is used used firearm, but it's never been fired. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. Here we go. All right. So when you get this thing, <laughs> this is the Colt 
Cobra 38 Special. Uh, yeah, and it will shoot plus P ammo. The cool thing about it, and guys, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not going to shoot this pistol. Uh, it's not because of any collector edition or anything else, but it is new in box. And you know what? I may have to sell this guy one of these days, and I don't want to shoot it. But in any case, let me go ahead and just give you a tour around this guy. Look at that thing. When I, I he, he he sold it to me for just a little bit over 500 bucks. So that in itself was a good deal, especially just even for a use, but never fired. Uh, yes, absolutely. Now I've looked up the date of manufacturing for this thing and the, uh, believe it or not, the serial number, uh, didn't come up. So, uh, it does come. That's a two inch barrel on this thing. You have fiber optic front sights. Uh, daylight is absolutely incredible. Let me see if I can show you, you can get this thing to line up. As you can see right there, that front fiber optic sight is amazing and when compared with the Smith and Wesson which has the push button right there uh, this has the pull knob there this also holds six rounds versus the five rounds on the Smith and Wesson now it is a little bit bigger hold on you can see from the front to the back of course two inch barrel I think that's an inch and a half uh, from the height standpoint the Smith & Wesson is just a tad bigger. It is still just a, called a, considered, I think, a J-frame. If it's not, you guys let me know. Like I said, I am not a revolver guy. But anytime I can get a hold of a Colt, and it's uh, one of the snake guns, I don't care if it's an old snake gun or new snake gun. I had a good friend of mine, Anaconda. He had a Colt Anaconda, and that thing was awesome. But uh, he would not sell it to me for no matter what I got. It, is, it comes with a set of Hogue over-molded grips. They do have the Colt logo right there. The hammer, the knurling on top of it, it's striations, it's perfect. But one of the things that I was incredibly impressed with was the smoothness of the trigger. Now, I know you guys are going to bust my balls because I'm dry firing it, but I don't care. Watch this. Like butter. In relationship to this guy right here. Yeah. What do we say? That thing was like 10 and change. Let's put this down here. Seven pounds, 13.8 ounces on the double action pull. Now, the single action is ridiculous. Watch this. Oh, 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 yeah. Do it again. Oh, oh my. Oh, uh, but let's see how much the pull is on that guy. So hold on. Here we go. Two pounds, 2.1 ounces. Let's try that again. Two pounds, 6.4 ounces. So, yeah, man, uh, really nice. Also, this guy, it, look how clean that is right there. Look at that. Come out here. You can punch your rounds out just like that. Uh, the knurling on the end of the ejector is perfect. It is protected just like that. This guy's not protected, as you can see here. No big deal. I think that uh, that is a little bit smoother. Hold on one second. Hold on. Yeah, that guy right there has got a little bit more point on him, but I think it's more because of the levels of thickness, if you can see that right there. Uh, what else did it come in the box? Had this holster here. Don't ever do what I just did there. But in any case, I tried to put this thing into the DeSantis holster, but it would not cover the uh, trigger, no matter if unless I just jammed it in there. So, yeah, man, I got a little holster right here. Not a big fan of that particular style clip, but this particular pistol if I were to ever carry it I'm gonna to have to get myself a really really nice holster but uh, in any case good little deal here Colt uh, came back out with these guys I think a couple years ago they ended ended up uh, when they quit making them in 91 or 81 or something like that but yeah uh, I'm on the market right now for a 357 version of this I wouldn't mind having a little longer barrel uh, but yeah the King Cobra that would be a good one to have but look at that one more tour around the shop here. Let's take a look at this thing. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how polished up that is on the inside. And yeah, man, uh, Daniel showed this thing to me, and I was like, yeah, I got to have it. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Unbelievable. 
Uh, would I leave the original grips on it? I'm thinking I might put something else on it, but I don't know. Like I said, this is a gun that may have to go down the road in the future, uh, but uh, I love it anyway. There it is. You can see the uh, Colt Manufacturing, Hartford, Connecticut. I don't know what the uh, barcode is there. Pretty cool. I can go ahead and scan that. You can see inside the trigger assembly, hammer assembly area, firing pin. Okay. Said I'm not much of a uh, of a. Uh, you see the cam or whatever that thing's called in there, right up in here. But yes, sir. Not a bad little deal. Very neat. So I just wanted to give you a tour around that here real quickly. So take a look at it. Uh, one of these days, I have not even shot this pistol since I got it. So there's quite a few of them out there that I have, and I have yet had the opportunity to uh, take it to the range and shoot it. This is uh, one of my home protection guns. I, I'll keep this up in a uh, safe uh, in our bedroom. Uh, and I told my wife, I said, if I'm out of town, you can grab that pistol right there and uh, the ease of a revolver. And you know what that is? Just pull the trigger. Now just hold on tight and pull with all your might. And that's it. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, I, man, I, I do like that. Look at the uh, top of that sight right there. This is a nice little gun. They're both nice guns. But uh, in any case, let's go to War 32. Guys, if y'all like this video, uh, I can't wait. I've got some pistols that we're going to be doing some pistol reviews on there. I've gotten away from doing that with this rifle stuff. Uh, well, and then and we'll get back to it as soon as we can. All right. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform. Freedom's not free. And six rounds of 38 special plus P. And uh, now we're talking. Look at that. Man, that's nice. Let's go to 132. I'm out.